We all use social media to take pictures of our food, drinks, life milestones, amazing places and generally to remind everyone of the great time we were having and isn't life just wonderful? But what if I could change the way I use social media? What if I could use it to talk about more important things? Things that affect all of us, like conservation, issues like plastic pollution. What if I could show off British wildlife, like this guy? What if I could use social media to document a 300 mile expedition around the coast of Cornwall? Whoa, 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 hold on a second, what? (laughs) I'm Sophie Pavel. I'm 22 and studying for a master's in science communication. In June, I will be setting out on a 300 mile adventure around the entire coast of Cornwall. Armed with my iPhone and a backpack, I'll be on a mission to see whether social media can be used as an effective way to communicate messages about science, wildlife conservation and the environment. Now this is forming part of my dissertation. I want to find out whether things like Instagram posts, Facebook statuses, tweets, vlogs, YouTube videos can be used to truly engage people with science, conservation and general scientific research. Cornwall offers some of the most incredible landscapes, home to some of Britain's most spectacular wildlife. I hope that my journey will be able to showcase this and encourage people to shout louder about the beauty of the UK coastline and the environments that we must protect. So, expect a bit of this. Oh dear, quite a bit of this. And hopefully lots and lots of things like this. Basking sharks, gannets, Cormorant, fish and chips, uh, scones, cream cheese, gannets, <laughs> Join me in June for an epic summer adventure, all in the name of science.